Hey everybody, this is more of a quick tip video on a cool feature that I've been using lately in the Firefox DevTools, and this feature is called Inactive CSS. The Inactive CSS feature was introduced in Firefox 70 in 2019, and what it allows us to do is to troubleshoot our CSS to find out why certain styles might not be working, why they might not be getting applied to elements on our page, and this can really help us to save time in our workflow. So let's take a look at this feature with a few examples. So here I've got a basic HTML page with some boilerplate HTML, and I've linked that here to my styles.css file. So the first thing I'd like to do is make a simple div, and I'll give it a class of container. And then within that container, I'll make three child divs, and I'll give them all a class. We'll just call them box, and I'll number them. So let's flip over now to the Firefox browser and see what we have. So here you can see we have those three children divs with the text content of these numbers, one, two, three. Now for now, this is gonna seem like a pretty contrived example, which it is, but I just want to really show you this Firefox tool. So let's say I wanted to use Flexbox on this container. So I can select the class container and give it a display flex. And then let's say for each of the elements with the box class, I wanted to give each one of those a flex basis of 200 pixels. So let's go over to the browser. And so now we can see that each of those elements is being laid out here in a row in their flex container. And each one has the flex basis of 200 pixels. Now, just for example, let's say I was working with my CSS and I had a huge CSS file and somehow I had left out this display flex on the container, but I was still trying to apply this flex basis of 200 pixels. So now I'm looking at these three divs and I'm saying, well, why are the Flexbox properties not taking effect? So let me open up my Firefox DevTools. On the Mac, the shortcut is Option-Command-C. So let me come down here in the inspector and let me inspect what's going on with these divs. So I'll click on one and check it out here. We can see that the Flex Basis property here has actually been grayed out. Not only has it been grayed out, but I see this little eye icon. And if I hover over it, that'll give me some information about why Flex Basis is not being applied in this instance. So I get this nice message here, which says flex basis has no effect on this element since it's not a flex item. Try adding display flex or display inline flex to the element's parent. So now I know that the parent element must not be a flex container. I can come back and see that it's actually been commented out. So let me uncomment it. I can come back and see that my problem's fixed. Let me go back to my code editor and once again comment out that display flex. So again, I can see that my flex properties are not being properly applied. So I would come down to my div, see it's grayed out, hover over the information icon. And if I wanted to, I could click on this learn more link, which would take me directly to the MDN web docs. And I could read up on this property and get the information that I need to fix the problem. Now, of course, this inactive CSS feature will work on much more than just Flexbox. Another example I can think of is where you might be trying to apply some width to an element but that element is an inline element, and inline elements don't respect width and height. We can actually try that really quickly. Let's create a span, which is an inline element, and let's give it some text content. We can say, I love the Spice Girls, and let's come into our CSS and target that span, and let's try to apply some width to it. Let's say we wanted to give it a width of 500 pixels, and actually let's give it a little bit of a border so we can see our width being applied. And then let's come over to Firefox. And let's inspect that element here in the inspector. We'll inspect the span. And check it out. We can see that width has been grayed out. And again, we have that eye icon here. Let's hover over it. And it tells us width has no effect on this element since it has a display of inline. So try adding display inline block or display block. And then again, learn more. So we can click on that. We go to MDN and we can learn a little bit about width and maybe get some help on figuring out our problem. So personally, I've used Google Chrome the most for doing development work, but with some of these Firefox features, I'm starting to spend more of my time with CSS working with the Firefox dev tools. So this video was really just meant as a quick tip to show you this inactive CSS feature in Firefox and help you speed up your development time when working with CSS. If you liked the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you next time.